Hello, hello, hi guys, happy Monday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, eh? hold on one second. Yo, yo, I'm still um, glowing in the month of July. Get my, fix my, my crown, what I was using for a crown. I hope all is well with everyone. Trust that you all had a fantastic week last week, a successful, productive one. I'm hoping that over the weekend you would have been able to gather all your ducks in a row, do all the dusting and cleaning that you needed to do so that you were able to shake off the things that might uh, rock you a little bit during the week and gather yourself to be able to experience a brand new week still in the <coughs> beautiful month of July. So this is the final Monday in the month of July. And um, yeah, I'm going out to Tampa. It was my birthday month. Uh, I rejoiced and I celebrated with all those who, those of you who would have uh, celebrated your life this month, celebrated our anniversary, your graduation, whatever you would have celebrated this month. I wish you all God's blessings, favor, and I pray that this new chapter that you're entering into, whether it be a new year of marriage, a new year um, for yourself, like I said, you're graduating, and so you're entering into probably form six or whatever new thing that you're entering into. I pray God's wisdom, his provision, his success um, be bestowed upon you for this new chapter, this new season, this new era, if you want to call it that, of your life. Today, I want to do, try my name, July we worked on the time. All I must say, she tried, she tried. Not the whole month, but she did try. So I know I said, I hope you would have dusted and thrown away uh, things that you that probably didn't feel too great. Um, last week, I want to chat with us a little about that statement. So usually uh, when people talk, we have conversations, you know, you would hear, oh, this was real bad and I didn't enjoy this. And uh, I remember this time in my life and it was such an awful time, da, 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 da. But if you try to find out from the same person who may, may, um, not everybody, but sometimes when you are, if you ask them, what have you learned from that difficult, uncomfortable, unpleasant situation that you just experienced? And they might, well, um, <laughs> and have to pause and try to figure out. So. I just want to chat with us today. I, um, I can't tell you that I have a scripture verse uh, to back up what I want to talk about. So I thought about that. Um, it was not a, a genuine thought from my brain. Let me just clear that up. So a friend of mine messaged and he sent a voice note. Um, I was calling daddy so and so now. I want to call him the next thing. He wants himself out here, all out here. Um, so. I got the voice note and I'm always, when I see in my message that I have a message from him, I'm always excited to hear what it is he has to say, what gem is he going to lay out on me uh, for my week. And he messaged and, you know, he said, I'm praying for you, um, whatever you're going through, you know, things like that. Um, I dare with you, your burden is my burden kind of thing. I was in my feelings. And he said one little line in person that just ping <laughs> and pinged on that for me and he said you know um just try not to waste the experience and i just thought to myself oh my god <laughs> and you know i thought about it and then you know of course during work you have in conversations with different people and um you know, you get to hear in the salon, I, I, I think anybody who's a hairdresser or have one-on-one -on -one sessions with, with uh, customers, 
um, you'll find that your salon becomes a salon slash therapy office. And so you talk about things and people come and they share what they plan to do and that kind of thing. So there's always, and because mine is uh, strictly by appointments, it's just you and I, I often get to um, share in the lives of my customers in a very personal way. So this customer and I were talking and, you know, she was mentioning what she wanted to do with her sister and what her sister's response was. And she's mentioning other people that she heard about. And I shared concerning people that I also heard about where, you know, uh, they're just waiting until retirement. When I retire, I will do this. Or when I retire, I will do so and so. When I retire, I will do this, that, that, and the other. And they're just leaving all of life's gems and, 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 and benefits for when they retire. And then, boom, unfortunately... They don't get to experience all of the things that they had planned on experiencing because they passed on. And so we were sharing that. And you know, I was telling her, you know, sometimes and these things start off in our minds in a very subtle little way. Yeah, yeah somebody give you a top, you're not using it. Somebody give you a nice bottle of perfume, you're not opening this yet, you're waiting until waiting for what? Waiting, waiting for whom? For somebody else to come and use it. And so I changed that operation as a teenager because um, I had an experience growing up. I was saving this particular thing to use it. And one of my siblings <laughs> decided, eh, eh, my brand new, I'm going to tell you what it is, item. Use the thing and I see it. I save it. But that is mine. That is my new so and so, so and so that I have. Not, not cussing, eh? The thing. <laughs> that I have not used as yet. And I said to myself, never again. <laughs> Am I going to save anything um, for, for this or for that? No, you buy my top of wearing it. You buy, I, I want to find an occasion for it to use my things, to use my stuff. Mm -mm. Waiting until what to travel, why? <laughs> so we were talking about that. And, you know, it just came back to mind what my friend said in the voice note about not wasting experiences and i want to encourage us not only should we not waste our own experiences i don't know what you might be dealing with at this point in time what situation circumstance whether pleasant or unpleasant that you might be experiencing at this time do not waste the experience so if it is our experience to treasure memories, please treasure the memories. If it's an experience to, where something was difficult and it was hard, find the gems in the midst of all the dirt. I mean, they often talk about how we find diamonds. Find the diamond in that thing. And I'm not saying that, uh, so somebody divorced my tenor and say, well, my marriage ended in a divorce. Where's the gems in that? Okay. If you don't find the gem, sweetheart, homeboy, you're going to end up doing the exact same thing should you <laughs> end up in another marriage. If you don't get the gems that you would have gotten, and this is what uh, people might want to deem as failure. Um, oh, well, your marriage failed. Da -da -da. <coughs> According to who? <laughs> Did you learn something or some things then, my friend? Um, I would say not failure, but lessons, life lessons that you could pass on to somebody else. So don't waste your opportunities and don't waste the opportunities that others, if they would have, if they bring you into their space, bring you into their circle, into their sacred place, close enough to find out things that they would have experienced, things that they would have shared with you that probably not many know about. Try and um, you know when you're doing Easter egg hunting school, you just have a basket and you're searching, searching, searching and then just putting it in a try and pick up and put in your basket as you go along through this life. Please and thanks. I just wanted to put that out there for us. Um, I saw a quote that says, the capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is our choice. And I just want to encourage us with my friend's message to me and this quote. 
uh, be willing, please. <laughs> be willing. If you don't have this skill, get it. Um, and um, have the capacity to do it. Ask God, if need be, Lord, I really, you see, this, this rough right now, and I don't have the capacity. <laughs> I found myself saying this uh, in recent times. I don't have the capacity to deal with what, um, I don't have the capacity. I don't have the, and that is normal. And sometimes we need to set those kind of boundaries because you know how depleted you are at the time and you know that straw might really come back. So before that, take a ticky time out, do some self-care and then come back. And sometimes it might happen with a voice note, with a message somebody sent, a call from a particular person. Like I don't have the capacity right now to handle a conversation with with you i have friends that probably be doing the same thing with me i i don't know um <laughs> but i prefer to have a conversation with you when you have the capacity to do so rather than feel as if you're just entertaining a call with me or you're entertaining a conversation or messaging me out of entertainment i just entertain and at this point but i really don't have the capacity for what taking place in our life with and somewhere when you had the capacity to do it so i'm saying if you feel like you don't have the capacity to learn in whatever experience that you may be faced with right now ask god to give you the ability the capacity and the willingness to take up gems in both your good and your bad situations because sometimes things might be great and you ask a person okay so this was real successful so what's the steps what they did and they can't tell you because they took no record and they 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 wasted the opportunity to be able to take note write down record how did i get here and like i said this could be like i said i said i celebrated my my birthday this month and you know, it, it is necessary, I believe, um, to take a moment, to take a moment and reflect. I, I found a picture of myself, not a current picture, it was a picture of myself, I think, for my 37th birthday. And I found a picture of myself at the age, it seems like two years old and i was just going through and reflecting like wow little girl i was looking at the the, the toddler picture and just thinking you you did a lot girl <laughs> you went through a lot you experienced a lot you endured a lot you you faced a lot you had a lot of things to deal with that uh if you were, were if you had a choice you probably would have said um no pass no thanks and i think it is necessary last week uh, one of the elders gave the entire church a challenge, you know, to go and to do some self-awareness and to do some introspection. And while you're doing it, pray and ask God to help you to see where your blind spots are. And then when you finish that, he gave us two other things that we needed to, uh, we needed to do. And I just thought to myself, this, this, it is necessary, it is necessary to go back to check to make sure the wire is connected properly to go back and to when when uh you're doing construction and the time comes for the light to be connected an inspector comes and they come and they go back over all the things that you would have done before just to see if they could give you a pass to move forward and so uh in light of me doing the same um, and i continue to i plan to do so on monday <laughs> just take a minute I'm, I'm checking in to just sit with myself and uh assess and so i'm hoping that you do the inspection fail yourself where need be and sometimes during those tian tech inspections there is fail and the electrician had to come and fix and rewire and put the switches and the plugs in the right places fix over the panel and so that is done so that one you could get a pass so that you could use <laughs> you could see you could get light to be able to opt, operate at optimum level 
Uh, because operating with a candle and operating with a light that you can flick on is two totally different experiences. Yes, you have a light, but how well will you be able to function? How much better with a light from a light bulb where your hands are free and you can do all the things that you need to do as opposed to walking around with a candle wherever you're going, trying to make sure wax don't fall on clothes or you don't burn yourself and put the candle in a proper place so that if the curtain blow, the whole house don't burn down. So, I just want to encourage us to don't waste any of your experiences. Good, the bad. Sometimes it might just, you might find this is such a horrible, horrible, I, I, I don't like it here. <laughs> this space that I'm in, I don't like it here. But if you throw your mind back, are you seeing growth? Are you seeing the ability to practice self-control, the ability to do self-mastery, to do self-governance? Where not because you're right. You have to be the loudest and the most boisterous. Sometimes it might require you keeping holding your peace even <laughs> in your most correct state. And so I just want to encourage us that, and, and even through that, <laughs> You could see, well, girl, I know a long time. This is how you would have responded. This is how you would have operated. This is how you would have dealt with this situation or this matter. But I see in where you're allowing spiritual maturity to take precedence over your feelings. You're allowing grace, the grace of God to carry you rather than your emotions and how you feel and what you think. And so I think taking a minute to step back and do the inspection. Go through, because um, we're doing renovation, construction, and deconstruction. And so when you're doing that, sometimes you have to rewire the place and get a full inspection all over again, even though you was living in the house before, it might require inspection again. So do the inspection. Ensure that the tiles were laid well, the door, when we first move in here, the person that installed the locks in our front door did it back to front, upside it down, some wrong way. And when we turned the key, instead of the key turning left to unlock, it was, you had to turn right <laughs> to unlock the, unlock the lock. And so do the checks just to make sure that everything is in its right place, in the right position, and that could be your mental health, that could be how you, the, the way that you speak to yourself, it could be so much things. Just make sure that you are operating at the best level that you could possibly operate at, even if it's unpleasant. And don't waste, don't waste, you never know what you may learn in your uncomfortableness could be somebody tool they, that they need to hook up their door properly. And so don't rob yourself and don't rob the person that you may meet that might need your experience of the tools that they need to navigate their way through life as well. Uh, it, it's unfair. Um, honestly, <laughs> you want to tell God, listen, um, let somebody else do it. And I will just, I will get your notes because, no, I, I don't want to be the one to teach you guys. <laughs> could I not hold on for the teacher today? Could I not, could I just be a student? Could I, could I be the, 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 the assistant and not the main, the main person? Could I not please? Uh, but we don't get to choose. We don't get to, get to tell God how to mature us or what to use to polish us. Um, and make us useful in the kingdom because at the end of the day, um, if you read Ephesians 4, that speaks about how we operate uh, in the body of Christ, how each gift, uh, some of them are used for the edifying and the equipping of the saints so that we could build the body. Um, you're not operating and not functioning as you're supposed to in the way that you should be supposed to. Uh, like a friend said to me the other day, you're a spiritual criminal because <laughs> you're robbing me. I am robbing somebody of the opportunity.
to be the best version of themselves so that each as each joint supplies working properly if you read that verse like i have a verse <laughs> if you read that verse it's proper working order the body of christ is built up um that is that is in ephesians uh, chapter 4 so i am asking us don't waste let us not waste um and if you grew up in the 1980s um i know we have those parents that will tell us stop wasting the food you're wasting it this you're wasting the soap don't waste don't waste don't waste the experiences don't waste your challenges don't waste your lessons don't waste don't waste um so until next time guys try it uh, yeah 20 minutes on something so before it end up in another 20 minute video have a good week hello august <laughs> is right around the corner be good to yourself stay hydrated take care of your skin um do something for yourself and enjoy the rest of your vacation period with your kids those of you are parents those of you are not parents and you're doing it with nieces and nephews have a fantabulous fantabulous august and if you you july folks feel to um let the celebrations and the excitement of we are such special people roll over into, into august hey i am here for it <laughs> call man we go like have a great week, guys. Bye.